So it is not a secret to anybody that buying groceries and cooking for yourself every single day can be pretty challenging. And meal kit delivery services like Blue Apron can be a convenient option to make your life a little bit easier. But the big question is, is it actually any good? Well, I spent a week with Blue Apron trying to find out, and let me tell you, I was absolutely blown away by the quality of the food, and I got to eat some of the best home-cooked meals I have ever had. And it wasn't really all that hard. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen with CNET Home, and in today's video, we're talking about my week-long experience using Blue Apron meal kits. Now, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with meal kits. The basic premise is you'd get a pretty big box with prepackaged ingredients with specific recipes that are easy to follow, and at the end, you'll have a really nice, tasty meal. Now, Blue Apron is one of the original meal kits. It's the first one that I ever heard of, and let me tell you, I was eating really well the entire week. We're just gonna talk about some of the meals that I ate this week. We're gonna talk about the ordering process with Blue Apron, how much it costs, and just my overall impressions having eaten a lot of Blue Apron this week. So let's just start off with what the ordering process is like and how much they're gonna cost. Now, it seems like there isn't that much variance in pricing between different meal kits across the board. With Blue Apron, you're gonna be spending $12 per serving. Now, it's not per meal. Each meal comes with two servings, so you're gonna be spending about $24 per meal. And if you get the three meal delivery, which is the most popular, you're gonna be spending a little over $80 a week if you factor in the $10 in shipping. So obviously, it's not that cheap. It is cheaper just to go to a grocery store and make stuff from scratch, but that obviously takes a lot of time, and it is gonna be cheaper than going out to restaurants for the most part, depending on where you're going. Now, when you actually order from Blue Apron, you have a plethora of recipes to choose from. They have about 50 different offerings per week, which is just a lot. It's the most that I've ever seen from a meal kit. Even though they have so many different options, it is pretty easy to sort through them. They have several different categories, including their chef-inspired signature dishes. They have health and wellness-related dishes. They have vegetarian options. And they even have more quick and easy ones for people with not a lot of time. So yeah, this is good. They've all been really good so far. Now, I didn't actually select the recipes that I cooked this week. Blue Apron just sent me a bunch of stuff. And I gotta tell you, everything I ate this week was absolutely delicious. So let's crack it open and take a look. Fresh pasta sheets. That's gonna be pretty interesting. I've never actually cooked pasta that way, so that should be fun. recipe cards, which are gonna be pretty integral. All right, so that is one full refrigerator right now, but it won't be lasting long. One of the things I noticed about Blue Apron meal kits is that they have a little element that seems to elevate the dish to another level. For example, the French toast that I made added a little bit of creme fraiche to the dish, and it really helped balance out all the flavors because you had a bunch of tartness from the cherries. It's just really good, probably the second best French toast I've ever had. And the schnitzel recipe, which to me was the standout dish of all the stuff I had from Blue Ripen this week, was actually better than the schnitzel I had at a German restaurant, an actual German restaurant. The stuff that I had from Blue Apron was actually better. Obviously, taste is a somewhat subjective thing, but I really don't think quality is. And all of the ingredients that I received from Blue Apron, I felt were really high quality, especially the meats. They actually go to great lengths to ensure that all of their meats come from organic farms, which is something that I really care about. And another thing that I personally care about quite a bit when it comes to the environment is how wasteful or not wasteful the packaging is for these meal kits. Because if you're gonna ship something in cardboard boxes, there's obviously gonna be some waste involved and Blue Apron does a pretty solid job of minimizing that to a degree. A lot of their stuff is wrapped in plastic, which is recyclable depending on where you live, where I live, they don't really accept that sort of thing. The one thing that I did think was really cool is that the ice packs that they use, you can actually let thaw out and then cut them open and actually use them in your garden. They're supposed to help your plants grow, which I've never actually seen from an ice pack, so I thought that was pretty cool. We'll try and put some more information down below in the description from Blue Apron about how they try and help the environment if you're curious. And I think a lot of people just assume that meal kits are kind of wasteful by default because you are shipping stuff from wherever they package it to wherever you are. But one thing about meal kits that I really enjoy is that there's really no food waste involved. If you go to the grocery store and you buy a bunch of greens, 
There's a lot of people out there, including myself, who might let those greens go bad, and then you wasted a bunch of food, and you wasted a bunch of money. So that is something to keep in mind if you are considering a meal kit subscription service for yourself. It's probably not as wasteful as you think it is. Now I wanna preface this next section by saying that I am pretty comfortable in the kitchen. I've spent the last couple years trying to learn how to cook for myself, and I do have a pretty high level of skill, I would say, for the average person especially a dude my age. So I personally found these dishes to be fairly easy to prepare. The instruction cards were very thorough, and one thing that I appreciated was that each step had its own little photograph. It can be kind of difficult to really describe a step in detail, and some people are visual learners. So being able to read the recipe description and then being able to see a photo of it completed makes a recipe much easier to follow. All of the Blue Apron recipe cards come with an estimated time frame on how long it'll take you to prepare. And even though I was filming the cooking process to a certain degree, I was able to make these in the allotted time frames, which is always really nice. You don't wanna look at a recipe card and say, this'll take you 30 minutes, and then it winds up taking you 60. Keep in mind though that I am more comfortable in the kitchen and these recipes are more hands-on. Like you're not really gonna receive a prepared sauce that you just pour on something, you actually have to make it yourself, which they make really easy to do, but if you are less comfortable in the kitchen, it might be a bit more challenging. So keep that in mind when I say that I was able to complete these recipes in the allotted time frame. For example, that pork schnitzel recipe that I've been raving about, I mean, just look at my reaction when I first tasted it. Wow, that's good, okay. I knew this was gonna be really good, but yeah, okay, and let's try the salad and the veggies too. Just for good measure. That one actually has some pretty complex elements, like you have to flatten the pork chop and then you have to actually bread it and then fry it, which is not something I was super familiar with. And so if I had a much lower baseline of cooking skill, I bet it would have taken me a bit longer than the 40 to 50 minutes that they estimated. Blue Apron does have integration with Alexa-enabled devices, so if you have an Echo Dot in your kitchen, you can actually ask it questions and it should provide you some specific answers. Unfortunately, I was not able to test this because I do not have an Alexa device in my home, but if you do, that could be a nice little bonus. And for anyone who subscribes to Weight Watchers, Blue Apron actually has integration with that service, so a lot of their wellness-related recipes actually have have Weight Watchers points attached to them and give you tips on how you can actually make it a little healthier if you wanna go that route. So if you are a subscriber to Weight Watchers already, Blue Apron will be nice and streamlined for you. And in addition to the meal kits that you actually prepare yourself, Blue Apron sent me some of their heat and eat meals, which are basically just ones you throw in the microwave and they're ready in about five minutes. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Yeah, it's pretty delicious, it's, again, Hard to screw up enchiladas, like it's hard to screw up pasta. Now I would say these were not as tasty as the actual meal kits, which makes a lot of sense because the schnitzel took me about 50 minutes to complete and these are ready in five. I will say that they are better than your average microwave meal. Everything tasted fresher and the ingredients just seemed a bit more premium. So if you couldn't tell, I really enjoyed my week with Blue Apron. I don't really have a lot of criticisms. I was eating super well all week. I'm still dreaming about that French toast. I wanna make it again, but I need to find the ingredients. And that is kind of the whole value proposition of a meal kit because you don't have to go to the store and find each individual ingredients. I gotta find dried cherries now. You just have it ready to go, which is a really nice thing to have. Is it worth the price though? That is a pretty difficult question to answer. If you are someone who doesn't have a ton of time to go to the grocery store, but you still want to have some really high quality, restaurant quality meals at home, then I think Blue Apron will be a really nice service for you. The only word of caution I would have is if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, you work all the time, then maybe try their quick and easy recipes as opposed to their signature ones because the signature one's just gonna take longer to put together. And if you are someone who enjoys the process of cooking and you actually wanna learn things about cooking, I would also say Blue Apron is a really nice option. Like, I actually learned a thing or two as I was cooking these recipes. I had never really done breading before, and now I feel pretty confident that I can replicate that. And you also learn a little bit about flavor balances, like the French toast has really nice sweetness with tartness and stuff like that, which is something that a lot of home cooks kind of struggle to grasp. So I think you'll actually expand your cooking knowledge a little bit 
if you subscribe to Blue Apron. So that has been my week with Blue Apron. Would I personally subscribe to Blue Apron? Yes, but my partner who I live with is actually vegan. And as of right now, they don't really have any vegan options available, which means I would just be eating these meals myself every week, which would get expensive. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of videos coming out about meal kits. I've been testing them out like crazy, eating a ton of really good food, which is always great. And we're gonna have some comparisons too, including comparing a Blue Apron to a meal kit service with some vegan options that's what you're interested in. So for seeing at home, this is Owen. I'll see you in the next one.